Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Also, we're going to be talking about Season 8. We've got to break down this rumor that has just been circulating around the last few days. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so what is this rumor? So if you guys are on Twitter or probably online like Instagram, Reddit or anything, you probably run into this over the last couple of days. So there was this supposed report going around that The Flash Season 8 will be the CW show's final season. That is the headline of the article. And where does this article come from? No, it doesn't come from TV Line. It doesn't come from Entertainment Tonight. It doesn't come from EW. It comes from, and as Pagey put so perfectly in his tweet, the British version of We Got This Covered slash Cosmic Book News. So that is of course small screen and you guys probably haven't heard of them. They are not big and I think they should stay that way. I'm not going to promote it because it's just one of those sites where they kind of say, oh, we have an exclusive and they get people talking because they are just throwing something out there that maybe could be correct. However, they have no source, but they claim they have a source and they kind of bring it off as news when as like they have no sources so yeah that is where this rumor is coming from that the flash season 8 will be the show's final season and this is coming from a very very unreliable source and so this is how the article goes and i'm gonna read it just for the sake of it so it says it's been revealed to us by sources close to the project the project who words it like that so that's just bad journalism but to the project that the flash season 8 will be the show's finale season. Makes no sense as well. The show's final season is the correct way to say it. No one ever says finale season. Then it goes on to say this is a bittersweet moment because the show's been on air for six seasons already. However, it will be sad to say goodbye to the show. So that doesn't make sense grammatically saying a bittersweet moment because it's been on for six seasons. However, it will be sad when that means like the same thing anyway so season seven of the flash is currently airing on the cw and it was revealed that it had been renewed for an eighth season however according to our sources this will be the show's final season a source close to the project informed us that the flash season eight will be the show's last so okay now why do i get annoyed by articles like this number one at least try and make it convincing if you're trying to bring this off as professional journalistic news at least write a convincing and good article that makes sense. Don't say, oh, this is the show's finale season, and then go on to say this is the show's final season. That just proves you can't write for shit, right? That is just like one thing that gives it away. And then also don't say, oh, according to our sources, and don't back up yourself with anything. Like, they're just literally throwing stuff out there being like, okay, we have the source. Like, I could make up that I have a source that says, oh, Supergirl is going to be coming back. And I could put an article out there saying, oh, according to my source, and my source is actually just my mind, you know? So that's basically what they're doing here. And that's what a lot of these sites do to try and get clicks, and that is what it has got. So please, as a reminder, don't click on these articles. And yes, I had to do it to tell you guys. I had to click on the article to read it out to you guys, and that's a shame. However, I think it's good to warn you of these sites, so always be wary of anything you see from We Got Discovered, Cosmic Bit News, and now smallscreen.co.uk, which is, like Pagey said, the UK equivalent of those sites. So, yeah, The Flash isn't ending in Season 8. That has not been confirmed. Obviously, there is a chance that Season 8 could be the final season, because they've only renewed to Season 8 right now. However, there was talks that Grant Gustin wants to stay on past Season 9 already, so that is obviously going against that, and we have no idea, right? And I don't think anyone has any idea. I don't even think Grant knows. I don't even think the CW knows. Maybe they are kind of negotiating a contract to extend further, but it's very likely that the show is going to go on past season eight because Grant has specifically said nine. So for now, at least they expect nine. Obviously, there is a chance that it could be eight, and this isn't to say that these guys are right, because if Season 8 does turn out to be the final season, this is what throwing information at the wall that you've pulled out of your ass 
gets you, right? Because you can be like, oh, look, we reported this way back when, when I made it up, obviously. But then they can claim, oh, yeah, our sources are right. And that's kind of how, like, We Got This Covered runs and has gained some popularity in the past. But yeah, that's about it for this portion of the video. We're going to move on to some actual legit news from legit outlets who have two new synopsis that we need to break down. So let's move on from this and I apologize for the rant, but every once in a while we always get a few articles like this and I need to bring it up to you guys to say, don't click on it, please, and don't believe it if you do believe it for some reason. Okay, so let's move on to this. So this is the synopsis for episode 12. This is this week's episode. So this is gonna be Cisco's final episode and the title is Goodbye Vibrations. And this is how the synopsis goes. Cisco leaves Central City. So Cisco and Camilla tell the team that they are leaving Central City. However, Barry and Iris and Caitlin don't have much time to digest the news because of a new version of Rainbow Raider strikes. And OG Team Flash must join together for one final time to save the city. Now, this is Cisco's big episode, right? He's going to be leaving. Camilla is also going to be leaving and presumably they won't show up ever again. However, there is obviously a chance if the show goes on for, you know, a couple more seasons that at one point they're probably gonna ask Cisco to come back, probably gonna ask Carlos to return to Vancouver and at least shoot like one or two episodes. And so what is big about this episode? Apart from that, you've got a new version of the Rainbow Raider. So that is exciting. We haven't seen Rainbow Raider in a long time. And considering that this is a different version, I don't know how they're going to differentiate it and give a reason as to why they are called the Rainbow Raider again. I guess they have like extremely similar sort of attributes in terms of powers, skills, and maybe a costume. I don't remember any set photos specifically for this. However, that's going to be happening and this is going to be one last time that OG Team Flash is going to be working together because obviously Cisco, Caitlin, Barry and you know Wells but you know that was Thorn so the OG team Flash members including Cisco, Caitlin, Barry and also Iris they're going to be working together to take down this final threat for the last time. So it's going to be bittersweet seeing Cisco go away however we weren't too surprised when we got the news because it seems like they've been leading towards it for a couple of seasons and also, it must be noted, in the article when they confirmed that Carlos was leaving the show, they said he would show up in the season finale. So I'm not sure if he's shot something for that already, or if he's like somehow back in Vancouver just for a couple of days at the moment. Because if you guys didn't know, they're currently shooting The Flash's season finale for this season. So I wonder if he's actually going to show up, or if that was some um, miss sort of communication between the CW, Carlos, and, you know, the original people who wrote that article, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next synopsis. This is for episode 13, the episode after Cisco leaves. This is how it goes. It's titled Masquerade. Cecile is trapped. Cecile is forced to confront her past in order to be free from a psychic prison. Meanwhile, Chester takes over for Cisco and makes a mistake that puts Barry in serious danger. Joe investigates Kristen Kramer's old military ties and discovers an unsettling truth. So more Kristen Kramer in this episode. We knew they were setting this up and this is what Joe's gonna be doing for the remainder of the season mainly. And so, you know, Kramer is like his villain, I guess. And it's strange seeing that Cecile is going to be trapped in a psychic prison because they literally just did psych and they're doing it again. So I presume it's something like with inside of her own mind, like it's her own psychic prison. Because if they have another villain that can use psychic powers, it's a bit weird. Right after they defeated psych and he's gone away. So I'm curious to see how that actually plays out. And so Chester, as expected, is taking over for Cisco in his normal role in Team Flash. We knew that was why they brought in Chester originally a couple of seasons ago, probably in anticipation for Carlos leaving. So now he's gonna take his rightful place as the new Cisco, basically. But obviously he's gonna be a bit scared taking up that big role and he's going to make a serious mistake that is going to be putting Barry in a lot of danger this episode. So we'll have to wait and see what's going on with that. But in terms of Kramer and Joe, Apparently, he's looking into her old military ties and discovers an unsettling truth. 
I presume it's something that could potentially expose her and stop what she's doing. Those are just a couple of theories for now, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you leave that like, it is very helpful to get the video out there. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new. You can click on the top right corner of the screen right here to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.